Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to, to uh, connect your uh, Pulsar device to the StreamVision application to do a firmware upgrade. So let's get started here. This is going to apply to any device that, that is capable of connecting to the StreamVision application. So at this point, you know, that's going to include uh, Trail, the DigiSite, you know, the newer DigiSites, Axion, Thermion, um, Helion. So Let's get started here. The first thing I need to do, you need to make sure that you have your uh, Wi-Fi turned on inside your device. In the case of this little Axion, it's a long, it's a long button press uh, on the second button back, you know, or first button back from the power button. So I've got a screen recorder going here. I'm going to jump over to my pad and show you what I'm doing. Uh, also going to be recording. I'll turn this on real quick. I want to be recording inside of the device for you as well. That's going to go off, obviously. Um, once the update starts but we'll get that started here so let's let's jump over here into the pad and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into our settings tab we're going to come in here to Wi-Fi and you can see that it just updated there now that it's showing that Axion we're going to click on that we're going to tell it to connect Okay, now it's connected, so I pushed my home button. I'm going to come back out here. We're going to connect to the StreamVision application. So now you can see I'm live connected. I'm, you know, pull the cap off here and I can show you that real quick. You know, uh, got to focus it. You know, so we're live connected inside the device. I'll throw the cap back on here. So from within the device, I'm going to click over here on. Uh, the little menu we're going to come in here into my devices and now you can see that that device is listed it's going to have underneath of where it's telling me that device it's going to have a little deal that says check for update so if you click on that it's going to tell me that I got a connection issue the reason for that is I'm you know I'm not I can't be connected to the device and my Wi-Fi at the same time so I'm going to come over here I'm going to come back to my settings now that I've got that device in my list I'm going to reconnect to my local Wi-Fi now that I've reconnected to my local Wi-Fi I'm going to come back into the StreamVision application I'm going to come back over here to my devices and now you can see whoops excuse me I'm going to come back, i got to go to the drop down, it pulled a different device, so I need to come up to this Axion XM38, okay, so I've got that in there, that's the one I just connected to, I'm going to tell it, check for update, and it tells me that there is an update available, so I want to download this update, so I just simply tell that to download, so now that it's completed its download, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to jump back up here to my settings tab, I'm going to reconnect to my Axion. Okay, now that I've reconnected to my Axion, I'm going to click my home button again. I'm going to restart my StreamVision application. Now I'm going back into my Devices tab. And it's going to tell me, now it's telling me that it's got a, a firmware downloaded and it wants to know if I want to install it. So I'm going to tell it yes, I want to install now. So you can see here now where it's telling me the firmware downloaded successfully, wait for the update to install. Turn the device on again. So we're going to tell it OK. Now the device is essentially updating. I don't know if this is going to record inside the screen, but if you look, you know, give it a few seconds, uh, keep looking through the eyepiece, and essentially what's going to take place is the device is going to start updating uh, internally. You're going to be able to see that. So like right now, it's got a little progress bar in there that's coming towards the center. Okay, so our Axion has completed its updating. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reconnect uh, to the Wi-Fi. I've turned the Wi-Fi back on inside the device. I cycled it on and off. Turn the Wi-Fi back on. I'm going to come back over here to my pad, and I'm going to connect to the device. So I've got it connected again now on here so that uh, 
I'll be able to, when I open up the StreamVision app, show you the internal recording. I'm going to hit record inside the device as well, just so I can kind of show you uh, the step-by-step -step of what you're going to be looking for on here to make sure that your update was successful. So I'm going to hit the home button again. We're going to reopen the StreamVision application. Uh, we can come over here to My Devices. And now you can see that we're on firmware version 1.00.0667, showing the last update of today. So we're going to jump over here and confirm inside of our, our uh, pad settings. So we're going to do a long press on the device itself. If you're working within the device, uh, we're going to get into the general settings menu. Excuse me. We're going to get into the device information menu, and there you can see where our firmware version is now showing the same thing, 1.0.67. So we have complete we have completed the firmware update, and everything is as it should be in there, and it's as simple as that. If you have any questions on this, or if I can help you uh, with anything on your device, feel free to give me a call, toll free 877. 806-2977 or check us out on the web www.foxoptic.com Thanks a lot and have a great day!